Oh, have a look to the shape on the ground. It's supposed to be apparently a questionnaire sort of thing where you test. Uh, I don't know. It's made by the same person who made Spectacle, a game I had released not too long ago. By the same developer, they made two other games prior, and I'm going to be playing them. This is one of the other ones. I'm not sure if it's the first or the second one they made. The Spectacle was their third. Um, it's supposed to be like you do testing, sort of psychological tests, so, I don't know, let's, let's sort of get into it. Tips for patience. I love questionnaires where it's like a test of your ethics or your personality, your characteristics. Move around by playing, by using WASD. I answer by pressing 1, 2, 3 when prompted. Escape to abort immediately and if panic sets in. If people really panic, that'd be questionable. This test is made to influence and be influenced by your subconscious. Choose the answer that is closest to your impression of the shadow boxes you will encounter. Remember that there are no wrong answers and no time limit. Please use your headphones provided by the examination officer. Sound is an important part of the test. Before you start, close your eyes, breathe in, and clear your mind. Like, this shit is just sort of like what I'm good at. In introspective psychology is my strongest suit, if anything. But clinical staff only. I'll click on that afterwards out of curiosity. But let's begin the test. Let's see what the game has for me. As a person who loves psychology and also overanalyzes everything to death. Ooh. Oh, oh. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, everything's loaded in. Uh, sh so something about shadow boxes. Where the fuck am I? Ugh. Where are these questions? I wasn't expecting to spawn in a strange town. What do you see? A lie, a truth, a compromise. I see teeth and intestines. I guess I'd say truth. I mean, how is this a lie or a compromise? It's... I mean, technically there's two mouths. And... There's a face with teeth. More teeth. So I guess I'd say it's a lie. Because it, it, it's... He's got two teeth, clearly. So, I mean, that, that's not that's not biologically accurate. Your answer has been recorded. It is a lie. That is not how mouths work. It is not how human mouths work. Man, I'm gonna get lost in this shit. What do I see? Desire, change, and beauty. Hmm. I'm not the artistic type, but I can see how this could be viewed as art. Got the ears... You got the moving pieces, and you got what wouldn't be a baby, but is a regular person's face with numerous parts. Change. I don't see beauty personally because art again. Desire though. Desire would be a strange thing. You could say desire based on if this is a supposed to be symbolic for a person with movable parts, as if say. Maybe comparable to Botox sort of thing, like, you can change yourself with new parts to make yourself more perfect. I would never say beauty. I'd almost say desire or change. Hmm. Desire. I'd say change is more accurate. Changeable parts is what I feel is most subconsciously true with what I'm visualizing with that.
Last bed. Something over there. Can I jump over? Nope. Right, let's go around. Interesting world, though. What do I see? Pressure eraser. Or erasure. Eraser? I say it's erasure and pleasure. We got a lily? A flower. Someone being stabbed many times. Maybe one of King of maybe King Hen one of King Henry's wives for not producing a male offspring. Um I don't see how that is pleasure. It has religious symbolism. Flowers. Maybe the flowers have meanings too, but it's definitely murder. Related to Christianity? Pressure. For the chains. I'd say it's pressure. Hmm. Is pressure the most accurate? I'd say pressure. I'm not sure how to just explain it with chains. Usually chains are give the impression of to bind sort of thing. The pressure of chains in the physical and mental aspect. Or pressure of religion. Pressure of bonds. Pressure of familial ties. Obligations. Duty. Faith. Pressure seemed more accurate. More befitting. What do I see? A future, a past, or an omen. Three balls with... A, a, geograph a geography map? I can't exactly see. But... I see like astrologists and philosophers sort of thing. It's the solar system? Studying a solar system? You could say it's past because it's history. Or future. Hmm, future? Is there future technology to be said? I guess I'd say a past because you see clouds and it's sort of a, a reminiscent of things or past gone by. So I would say it is a past. If it's like philosophers studying something. Because I'm not even sure what the thing in the middle is. Or if it's an actual real tool or not. What scholars or people use to study the solar system and constellations. Not sure, but past sounds more accurate to me right now. What do I see? Denial, betrayal, or betrayal? Years behind the face or a portrait. Dancing girls with those, uh... Oh, I can't remember. Those, uh, those jackets to make, that compress their waist to make them look skinny. That shit was weird. Betrayal, betrayal. The gears behind a face. Hmm. And a rope. Flowers. Denial. Denial! Ah! This is a different one. Let me think about it a little bit. I'm gonna maybe go with Betrayal, only based on the grounds like you... Now, you could make up a bunch of things for betrayal or denial, but I'm gonna go with betrayal only in the aspect of the word portray, because it is to portray yourself in a certain way, rather than something that is perhaps true. Also, what is that, though? 
Oh, is that... That could be more something else I need to see. I see a hand and someone holding a heart? Or is it candy? Or is it... I see hands, though. I'm gonna say Petrello. though. Mostly on the sense that if it's relating to, say, role theory or to portray yourself in a certain act or a role that may may not be true sort of thing, I could be completely off. But again, as it said, there are no wrong answers, but that is just the most accurate word to me. Mmm, satanic. Devotion, destruction, or desperation. Theater curtains, smoky, smoky clouds, seaweed-like things. A imp or demon? More religious things? Perhaps the moon? Hmm. You could say it's the devotion to a cult. You could say it's distraction, but you never know. Hmm. Devotion. But devotion can lead to destruction, but. Desperation? No. So it's devotion or destruction? Hmm. I mean, that could not be smoke clouds, but the, the sound effects makes you think it is. But I don't think these are, like, flames. They look more like long grass. Rather than fire. Just the sound effects gives the impression of fire, but I don't think there's fire involved. So let's say it's devotion. You could say devotion to a faith or a cult, and it's just leading to these people being on top of ruins. But ruins and the sound of fire doesn't have to mean destruction in itself, I would say. So I'd say it's devotion to whatever the fuck they're doing, which may or not be weird as fuck. There's still four questions. Ah, now I have to come here. Larva and caterpillars and bugs. Resilience, weakness, or strength? Hmm. Well, larvas and insects, moths and caterpillars and butterflies and larva stages. Is that a heart or supposed to be a bug that's incubating? Definitely not weakness. The ability to evolve, like caterpillars to butterflies, is an interesting strength. But is it resilience to nature or is it strength? I'd say it's resilience based on it being an evolutionary trait. I can't really say it's a strength per se, because I, I measure strength by sort of the the aspect of what you can sort of exert. This isn't exertion of you as an individual, but rather it's the resilience that is natural in your process. So I'm going to say resilience. Okie dokie. Let's find the next question. What do I see? Secrecy, treachery, or, lo or royalty? Um... Depends on what they're doing. The fact that I can't go closer without it blurring doesn't really help. Hmm... So I think I see two people. I'm trying to... grasp what is going on... in this image. It's like some kind of... skull? Some skeletal figure? And another person, but I can't make out the figures. The first thing that popped in mind, honestly, was treachery, but mostly based on the Game of Thrones joke that even South Park made fun of, which is every time you have the main characters talking in a garden, you know they're, this betrayal is about to happen. <laughs> it's the, the gardens of treachery and shit like that. It just looks like a garden or forestry. So I'm going to say treachery just because it's the first thing that came to mind. Every time I see garden and two people sort of discussing or doing things, I see treachery. But it could be royalty for all you know, but I don't have the context. So for jokes, treachery. Could be anything. Really good. But Game of Thrones joke. So we're going to do a Game of Thrones joke. What do you see? A rise, a fall, a cycle. Sort of like uh, the, the Tower uh, the Tower of Babel, sort of thing, I think. 
Maybe something similar. I see, I think, a, a religious figure? Uh, maybe? Old times, old suits, old costumes. Falling angels, a weeping angel, a flood, a storm. A little apocalyptic. And possibly a Tower of Babel. If not that, it's a uh, one of Ganondorf's castles that'll topple down. Very uh, demolition-like in, like in uh, Ocarina of Time at the end of it when you kill Ganon. Hmm, it's cycle. I'd say it's a fall. It's a thing like fall of the Roman Empire, fall of... It could be a cycle, but rises and falls are in itself a cycle. But I would say it is the moment of a falling of a civilization. That's what it sort of depicts to me. To say it's a cycle is sort of a redundancy because it is... It, I don't know, like the building represents what was a rise, but it had, it's in the midst of falling sort of thing. Where is the last one? I think I'm missing one. I'll double check. No, one question. One question! Oh, I think I found it. It's right over here. The blood's sort of leading me to it. Regrets. Hmm. What do you see? Inquiry, divinity, or scrutiny? I do not see divinity. Oh. Wait, what is that? I have no idea. Hmm... Eyeball. I'd say it's Inquiry, based on the obsession of eyes. And I think it's scanning to a, a brain or a guy's hat. It's, it's supposed to be inside the... The inside of the retina of the eye. It's everything about the eye and the retina and viewing things. To view things, or to observe things, to me, relates more to observation. And observation leads to, at least to me, the more natural thing of Inquiry. You inquire when you view things, because if you don't know it, well, you should ask. Asking should always happen. To ask is to beget intelligence, is how I view things. If you stop asking questions, you're no longer the in inquisitive type. And if you're no longer inquisitive, you're no longer learning. Always, always ask questions. If there is a fear of questioning, your, your growth has halted. That's why children ask a lot of questions, is how I put it. When Children ask questions because they want to learn, because they are inquisitive by nature. Children want to absorb things like a sponge to learn. Once you cease feeling that way, you're no longer inquisitive, you're no longer asking questions. That means you're no longer voluntarily absorbing knowledge. You always have to be inquisitive. So what happens now that I've answered all ten questions? Light. Eternity. Roots. Comfort. What does any of this mean? Or why are they all breaking when I'm walking to it? What does it mean? Build it anew. I don't know what it means. It just says build it anew. No sub description. No, no description. Hmm. I'm sure there's different endings, and this is just mine based on how I answered. What it means, I don't know. But maybe the this is for clinical at the main menu would maybe explain further. But hey, let's restart the game. Apparently, I guess I could show it. I mean, I think I'm recording in f full screen desktop mode. Uh, in the game folder, there is a Form 42B for psychological evaluation to be performed on 
by qualified personnel only, a TSOTG test patient evaluation. What is that for? Software experience. Software? Clinical observer. Curious. General behavior during experience. Oh, so someone's supposed to fill this out afterwards, so I could maybe do it to even myself. I'm the age of 26 to 35. Level experience prior to test to software? What do you mean, like, playing this game? Like, if I had, like, say, if I got my mother to play this game? Level of experience prior to the test. Software experience. Advanced, I'd be. Time taken for completion. Um, Look at my webcam. 24 minutes. So, 21 plus minutes. General behavior during experience. Calm. Uh, talkative. I mean, talkative not as a means of, you know, science and psychology, but because commentary. Uh, initial reaction upon completion. I am both indifferent. I'm also slightly amused. I am not confused. I am definitely not trouble. If you get angry, you sort of have the issues, my personal opinion. And how does the patient describe the ending segment of the software? Church environment. Hmm... Confused. That, that, yeah, confused for this one, yes. What were the feelings expressed by the patient about the ending segment of the software? The feelings expressed. Confusion, again. Now let's go back to the game. So I can see what the whole clinical thing, maybe it'll just lead to that form. Wait, somewhat. Oh, yeah, the developer's name is somewhat. So, for clinical staff now. Please provide patient with the best possible test environment, dim the lights and offer them clinic approved headphones. How, what is what is a clinic approved? Instruct them that they are not allowed to ask the staff for help or explanation for the entire duration of the software test. The patient can take as much time as necessary. They must choose between the three provided pre-written answers for each question. Capacity to adapt to impose test condition as part of the evaluation. Once testing is complete, do not forget to fill form 42B provided with the software and to turn the form to the examination supervisor present. Interesting. I don't know, maybe the developer then can tell me what I did right or... I mean, there's no right or wrong. I'm just always an inquisitive person by nature. If I don't even understand things, I always ask. There's no ap There is no fear in my body. Not an ounce of me has fear for asking questions. Because usually me asking questions is what gets me in a lot of trouble. Like, every time I get a new job, the first thing people say is, Wow, you ask a lot of questions! And it's like, like in an annoying tone. Like, the people that... Where I sort of said before during the video that the people that stop asking questions halt growth. You'll always find the people that typically halted their growth by no longer being inquisitive are the ones that harp at you for being too, inquis in too inquisitive. Because you asking questions, I think, reminds a person of what they once were as a child, inquisitive by nature. When a human being stops being inquisitive, they sort of contradict growth resilience and progressiveness of human adaption. You have to always remain inquisitive, in my personal opinion, uh, for actual growth to happen, both mentally, emotionally, uh, physiologically, psychologically, emotionally. But to those that rant or harp at you for asking too many questions, it's probably because they are projecting some form of anger, regret, uh, something along those lines because they themselves don't ask as many questions as much as they should And that's why for me. I always ask questions. I am always Hungry for information unless I feel like I'm I know enough about something then I'm just not hungry I'm just like yeah, I don't need to learn anymore. I've, I've gotten the gist of it learning any more or hearing more about it would just be redundant but Hey, but that's my opinion uh, tell me what you think, tell me what you, how you'd answer, and I don't know, maybe you could do the, do something different, or get a different answer. If you'd like to try out the game, it is of course in the description below, but tell me your thoughts overall, or anything you'd like to tell your thoughts about in the comments below. If you agree, or if you disagree with things I said, or if you have different forms of opinions, or any relation, or comparison to what I, anything I've said, tell me in the comments below, because I typically basically read everything. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.